Hey guys, so today I thought I'd talk about five ingredients everyone should try. Give a good try to at least once, but give it a good try. So I thought it looked really good and then I realized the lens was smudgy. So whatever. It's nice when it was smudgy. <laughs> anyway, so hope everyone had a good Black Friday. Hope everyone liked the award show. If you didn't check it out, check it out. There's a lot of fun surprises in there. Love doing it every year. It's one of my favorite videos every year I do. So I've got to think of another thing to maybe like semi-annual something else. I don't know. I'll think about it. But anyway, so these are five different ingredients that I found really made a huge difference in my skin. I thought my skin was looking good, looking good, you know, dealing with the hyperpigmentation, fine lines, things like that. And then I found each, when I added each one of these different ingredients in my routine, it really actually helped, made a big boost. So um, anyway, so I've got five different ingredients. So the first one is azelaic acid or its derivatives. Uh, APAD is a great derivative. And I've got a couple of products I highly recommend. The Geek and Gorgeous APAD. I thought my skin was looking decent, dealing with hyperpigmentation. Then after about six weeks of adding this in my routine, people started asking, what did you change? You changed something, something changed. You look different, your skin looks brighter. And it was this little one. So I highly recommend checking it out. And if you're still doing some shopping, I believe it's on sale uh, for 15% off at the moment. Uh, it's a Black Friday deal, so it might be through the weekend. I can't remember. But either way, it's really affordable when it's not on sale. The shipping is... The big deal, but if you pick up a few products, you get the free shipping. It's worth it. So, highly recommend this one. And the other one is the Face Theory. They changed the name of it to uh, A10 Lumazella Serum. So, this one's the As Clear. They changed the name for some reason, but this is another great one. 10% uh, azelaic acid. Azelaic acid is great. It really helps brighten your skin. If you have hyperpigmentation, it helps with that. It's a great anti acne ingredient. It's also relatively skin calming. And the nice thing with azelaic acid, it's kind of unique from other acids where it plays well with pretty much every other ingredient in your routine. So it's very friendly. It's not like you have to pick and choose what routine you can use it in because it plays well with other ingredients. So azelaic acid, great one. Highly recommend giving it a good try. At least give it six weeks because you might not notice it the first few weeks, but after that, I think you'll start to notice a difference. Next up, uh, L-azorbic acid, not its derivatives. The regular, pure L-azorbic acid, not derivatives. Uh, it's great for your skin. The derivatives don't have enough research that I am confident that they're doing what they say they do. More research needs to be done on the derivatives, but azorbic acid, great. Brightening for your skin, helps with hyperpigmentation, protects your skin from sun damage, UV damage, helps your sunscreen work better. Anti-acne, amazing ingredient. Uh, and if you're sensitive, there's products with 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. Uh, I've got a couple recommendations. The Skin Diva 20% Vitamin C and E Ferulic Serum is great. Ferulic Acid in an l Acid Serum is great. It helps, it doubles its photo protection. So it's a great ingredient to have. This one's great. The other one is the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow, which I finished my bottle and I gave my last bottle to a friend uh, who was looking for a SkinCeuticals dupe. I said, use this. It's the best dupe out there. So she's using it. She loves it. So Two products, they're amazing, you can't go wrong. Give them a good try. This one's probably not for newbies to vitamin C, but the Geek and Gorgeous is a little bit lower, 15%. So this one's amazing if you're uh, not a newbie. Next up, this is another ingredient that a lot of people are very hesitant to try, but once they try it, they are converted and they get it. And that is snail mucin. Snail mucin is great. This is the, my favorite snail mucin product, the Casarex. Advanced All-in-One Snail Cream, amazing, wonderful texture, great for soothing, calming skin. Snail mucin is great for so many different things. It's composed of lots of good glycoproteins and peptides and natural ingredients. It's great anti-acne ingredient, soothing, calming, hydrating, wonderful. You'll want to use it in your evening routine because of how uh, how it, take, it takes a long time to absorb, which makes it wonderful for an evening routine because it soaks in as you're sleeping. So this one is wonderful. And I finally got a second product I absolutely love, and that's the Jumiso uh, X Snail Barrier Cream. This stuff is also wonderful. No fragrance in either of those. Uh, so this one I'm loving, and it's got a, the, the bottle's more friendly for users. So Snail Mucin, if you haven't tried it, get over it and try it. Uh, and if you uh, will not try Snail Mucin, I highly recommend checking out the brand V Green. 
they have a uh, potato mucin. It, uh, I think it's yam or sweet potato, actually makes kind of a similar uh, snail mucin texture. Might not have some of the best uh, ingredients it's composed of, but it's wonderful. Uh, next up, Centella Asiatica. If you haven't tried something with Centella in it, highly recommend checking it out. Hi, Ike. I think Ike was just eating cookies or something. I think he got in the cookie jar. Hi, you want to say hi? Oh, he's got his toy. He's got his duck toy. Okay, so Centella's, you got him. Hi. Bonus Ike footage, everyone. There you go. He brings all of his toys outside, and then to get him to bring them back inside, I have to give him a treat. So then he purposely has figured out to bring them outside, then I'll get a treat when I bring it in. So I just bring everything out, you know, Anyway, so I scan for trees. So Centella Asiatica, great for calming skin, soothing skin, hydrating skin. It is a wonderful ingredient. If you have not tried Centella, it's amazing. Try it. You will love it. It's so calming, hydrating, soothing. And Centella is also composed of some great antioxidant, uh, matacaside, asiatic acid, things like that. Uh, I'm loving the Marion May Centella Asiatica Serum. Very affordable. And the Purito Centella Unscented Serum is also wonderful. You can't go wrong with either of these. If you haven't tried Mary and May, I highly recommend you do because they've got some great, affordable, cruelty-free products. And they're usually under $10. So highly recommend checking those out. And then last but not least, this is an ingredient that I tried about four or five years ago. Went disastrously. Very afraid to ever try it again. And I finally, in the last couple of months, tried it again. And that is Tretinin. So the version I used was very drying. My skin was patches, red everywhere, just one use. And I thought I'd work my way up to it by using stronger retinoids, retinol, retinal. And it didn't go well. And I didn't touch it again for four years. And then finally, uh, a subscriber mentioned, a Freedom Life mentioned, that there's this new product out called Eltrino. And it's much more friendly for your skin, the way it absorbs, the mesh it creates. Is much more hydrating, much less drying than other traditional uh, retinal, retin-A, tretinin products. So I jumped at the chance, picked it up, and I'm loving it. And it is making a huge difference in my skin. I've been using this probably two months now, uh, pretty close to two months. And it really just helps uh, kind of helps calm the skin, helps with wrinkles, fine lines. And the version of this is so much more calming and hydrating than any other version of tretinin I've ever tried. So this stuff for me is the winner, finally, a tretinin product I can use without my skin freaking out. So this, it's got a nice mesh that uh, helps keep your skin hydrated while you're using it. So it doesn't allow the redness, the dryness, the flakiness of other versions, which are super strong. Uh, and this one still is amazing. So it's really just the icing on the cake in my skincare routine. So if you haven't had good luck with other retinoids, versions, highly recommend checking this one out because my skin, very dry, very sensitive, very reactive. Haven't had any issues with this one yet. So either way, start out slow with it, but it's made a huge difference. So anyway, those are my five ingredients everyone should try at some point. Give them a good try. Just don't give up like I did on the tretinin. Maybe, you know, if your skin freaks out, try Altrino. So anyway, Thank you guys so much. I will see you more tomorrow. Okay, bye, Ike. I don't know, he's outside bringing his toy out, so then he'll get a treat when I'm done. <laughs> anyway, he's got me figured out. Okay, bye, guys.